Gonna hookah here. What's happening, people? Welcome to my next YouTube vid. This one I call the Tale of Nine Nines. Basically, I'm gonna show you nine of my nine millimeter handguns that I have to include three unboxings. This is gonna be a fun one. Hopefully, it's quick and painless, so you're not bored to death with me rambling on. Without further ado, let's get this party started. The first one. Looks clear is my Kimber Micro 9 7 plus 1 pocket pistol ankle bracelet. Nice one you can hide, nice, very, very, very concealable, as you can tell. I got big ass hands. See how I hide that shit right behind there? There it is, right there. Boom. That's one. See how painless that was? Just one. Second one Tejas Zagana. Model F, 17 plus 1, clear, aluminum frame, they don't make too many of these anymore, in the aluminum frame, you see more of the polymer frame TS now, outside of the 1911s, obviously, but this one here is a budget-friendly firearm, Turkish, pretty decent shoot, yes indeed, so that's why I got it. Third one, IWI Jericho, aka Baby Desert. More for the aesthetics, that's probably why they call it that, but that's what it is. This is a decent, decent gun for sure. Definitely a decent gun. Um, that's why I got it. it. So, there it is. Decent gun. That's why I got it. The next one, everybody's favorite. They're all the rave. Jonic or Canic. SFX Rival. I got it all black. Black is beautiful. That's why I got it. Clear. The reason I got it, because it's a good gun. It's a good shoot. Next gun. Ooh, this is my one of my favorite ones. This one is the CZ. 75. Cold War commemorative edition. It's got the so you know the Soviet joint within the serial number. It's got the see it's got the stick the sickle and the star on there. Hammer sickle star. I like it. Um, it's a, it's a commemorative from the Cold War, so that's why I got it. Good gun. Everybody loves CZs. That's why I got it. But I got it because I, I like Cold War. It's a collector's piece. The next gun gets cooler now. But wait, before we get to the next gun, actually, no, we're going to do this one. We'll get to that next, all right? This one right here is my Beretta. PX4 Storm Subcompact. It's a little chunky, as you can tell, but it's got the rotating barrel. That's what makes this gun neat. It holds 15 plus 1, which makes it a nice little toy to have. A little fat, so you may print just a little bit, but I don't care because I like it. That's why I got it. Now, I will see how quick and painless that was. Before we go into the unboxings of the next three, let me show you an honorable mention. <laughs> That's enough of that. Now to what you're looking for. Now to what you're waiting for. The first unboxing. Like this joint. As you saw before, I had the PX4 subcompact. I got his big brother, the PX4, Beretta. This one's 17 plus one, which you can also get an extension to be 20 plus one. So I'm looking to get those. So I have some nice things. So a little bit more capacity with this guy, but this is the big brother. So I got me a complete set ish, complete set. Um, but that's the first unboxing. It comes with two mags. It comes with mag loader. It comes with instructions and locks and all that good stuff. I'm not going through all that. You can just look at the gun and you can just use your imagination what came with it. The next gun. The next gun. Ooh-wee. Right here. Ooh. Sig P320 M18. This one 
drugs used by the United States Marine Corps. SIG fixed the problems of the drop fires that they had with these puppies, and the fire control group completely comes out of it in one hit, and you can interchange it, so alle allegedly interchange it with 9 millimeter. what well, this is it's a 9. You can do a 357 SIG and a 40 Smith. Funky, funky. So that's pretty cool. Kind of your fire control group works in all three. You can swap out frames and all that good stuff. So that's kind of neat. It is clear. This bad boy is 17 plus one. Also has 21 plus one. Comes with some good mags, good stuff. Of course, you know, it is what it is. With as far as mags go. But decent, high compact. I can't wait to take these bad boys to the range and let loose. And the funny thing is, I'm not really a huge SIG fan. Not really a huge SIG fan at all. I liked it. Guy kind of talked me into it, so I said, fuck it, I'll get it. But I didn't stop there. I didn't just buy one SIG. I bought two SIGs. This one is the M17 P320 SIG. This one is used by my alma mater, alma mater, I said alma mater, alma mater, the U.S. Army. This is their service carry. 17 plus 1, 20 plus, 21 plus 1 as well. So, I would definitely be shooting these bad boys this weekend to get my feel on them and uh, see how they roll. May do a review, may not. I just may tell you whether or not I liked it. Because sometimes I'll do a whole lot of videos of me shooting because I just don't feel like doing videos of me shooting. Unless it's like some really serious, crazy shit, like a Gatling gun or some other shit. But other than that, you won't see too many videos of me shooting. Won't be a whole lot. Um, unless I just feel like shooting. Or I'm testing out some new loads. But just showing you little, little things there. And that is it. Hopefully you like this video. You can like, share, subscribe. Or not. I don't give a fuck either way. This is kind of therapy for me. So I just hope you enjoy the, what you see. Hope you enjoy the content. Hope you enjoy the firearms. Other than that, Gunna Uka, out.